cops about to pull off. Oh yeah, definitely these. Is that it? And there he goes. So I'm here with one of my co-conspirators, uh, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more, say no more, um, Justin. And uh, he took off towards these uh, uh, cop lights before I got a chance to, and I arrived late. Uh, can you tell me uh, what made you respond? Yeah, we were over on, what, 3rd and Burnside filming a, a cop who pulled a, a girl over and he thought she was drunk. And I saw some lights uh, crossing Burnside uh, down 2nd Street. So I came over to check it out. There was just another traffic, uh, traffic stop. Right on. The cop gave him a ticket and sent him on their way. So um, somebody would say, why why film a traffic stop? I mean, like, what would be the point of this? Or why, why, why are we doing this? Uh, well, I mean, I guess the easy answer would be a lot of... Uh, a lot of incidents of police brutality start with traffic stops. Uh, right some, on. Something happens, whether it's on the part of the cops or the person being stopped. But uh, um, you know, it's important to be even at interactions between cops and the public where it may seem superfluous or unimportant, because um, you never know what's going to happen. And just our presence may very well prevent something bad from happening to right on. good or bad people. But Sweet. Thank you. Yep. The camera is your protection because they don't want to screw up while you're filming. Uh, they don't want to lose their paycheck, just the same as anybody. So uh, don't ever stop. Just, you know, stay calm and keep filming.